So this is a goniometer. Uh, ultimately, its purpose is to help us understand uh, the conditions under which rocks form, how they evolved. Um, how it does that is it takes what's called the reflected spectra, spectrum, or a measurement of how much um, light each rock reflects at specific wavelengths, and it takes those spectra at different geometries. Um, what that means is that the detector here is moving around, and the light source here also moves around. So that's analogous to the light source being the sun in the sky moving around as a spacecraft takes a measurement. And the detector moving around is analogous to the spacecraft itself moving or changing the angle at which it's looking at a rock. Um, we've got a sample tray that's set up to accommodate naturally weathered samples. Um, and it can accommodate up to five samples at a time. That makes uh, data collection much more efficient than it would otherwise be. It's going to be traveling from here at First Boat up to Western Washington University, where we hope that students and professors there will be able to use it to help us further our understanding of other planetary bodies.